All right, so now that we have we have to kind of create depth here. So in order to create depth, we have to do this. Command D to make a copy of this and set it just right next to it, just like that. So now I have a copy of the gun, and I have a copy of the gun. On the back side of the gun, what I want to do is go into here under polygon and I want to do normals reverse. So that way I have a gun in both views. See, it's pointing out. The shoulder never leaves contact with the air, so I don't want to worry about the shoulder coming in contact with transparency. I do have to do that with the character, however. So again, Command D to move this out, and then normals reverse. Now, if I really wanted to be lazy about this, I would take both these, Command D them, and move them over to my other side. And I can line them up using the top bar. Over here, Command D, I can move this one here, and there's my shoulder. My shoulder sits just about here. Does it really matter? No, unless you're doing some weird lighting. And this one's going to have to be reverse normals. There we go. Incidentally, if you're a total Maya noob, uh, let's say I want to look at the normals, I can display polygons, normals, face normals. And then I can see normal facing out. Good. And if I want to see this one, same thing, I have to go back in for each one to view the normal. So it's kind of, it's kind of a pain. Okay. Display, polygon, face normals to get them off. All right, congratulations. You now have a 2D character with two guns uh, that nobody would be the wiser for, except for the legs don't move. But that, as long as I can move arms and show you how to do that, you know, later on if you wanted to move legs, it would be the same thing as moving arms. It's just a shortcut for me to do this within the classroom very quickly. Um, and not lose too much face over the time constraints of a two-hour class. All right, so here we go. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, yeah, skinning, right? So now we have to skin this, and then in the next video, I'll show you how to weigh it. So you take this. And I should say, let's look at the naming convention first, and maybe this won't be a skinning issue yet. Because look at what we have here. We have this a bunch of planes out here. And again, naming convention is everything. So I'm going to take the time to name these. I know that's kind of a pain. But so my naming convention is going to be like this. And there is no mirror function for this. So right underscore arm underscore out. This is my right underscore shoulder underscore out. This is my, I don't know what, but I'm going to move it a little bit to find out. Uh-huh. Undo. That is my Soldier right. How about our soldier? And then start naming these. These are transform nodes, so we're going to have to take these and delete history on them. Underscore in. This one's going to be my left soldier. If you're confused about what, what, what's what, you just have to move it just a little bit. So that's my left arm in.
left arm out and left shoulder. Good. Let's delete by type history on everything. Grab all this, edit, uh, delete by type history. And these rotations should be already at zero. So in other words, all bones should have a rotation of zero based upon how I made them using the translate tool. So make sure you have no rotations on any bones. That's very important. And to, to clean those up, all you do is have to grab all bones and go edit, uh, delete by, or modify freeze transformation. And that'll clean those rotations up. Okay. All right, now in the next video where you skin it and um, we'll go on from there.